Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. It is going to be focused on your love life. So I am going to be looking at a number of factors in this particular tarot card reading. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Right. So we already have one card out in reverse position. I'm also going to be clarifying these energies. What is going on in Cancer's love life? What is going on in Cancer's love life? Okay, very interesting. Right. I feel like there's an energy here which is indicating that at some point in time, both you and this individual concern, you know, there was there's this element of a breakdown of communication. Perhaps both you and this individual just couldn't see eye to eye. It feels as if there was less communicating about, you know, the soft and vulnerable aspects of your personality and their personality, the exchange of love between two individuals that just, you know, catch up and have some pillow talk and things of that nature. It feels like there's an energy here of something that was either pulling the two of you in a different direction. And so both you and this individual just couldn't have a simple conversation with one another. Whatever might have caused this, you will know in your respective situation. I'm going to clarify this energy in a moment, but it feels as if someone was very hesitant to be vulnerable, to be open, to be as, you know, um, transparent as possible. And this might have cause some fractures in your relationship. The next energy is giving me an indication of the fact that, you know, your person right now, they're the type of individual that really values their independence, doing things on their own terms. They could be into their career. They could be into things that really, you know, motivate them, etc. So it feels like an energy of being deeply, deeply motivated by their own objectives, the things that um, you know, make them feel excited about life. I feel like this individual is, you know, shunning commitment and uh, responsibilities and taking accountability. At this time, I feel like this individual is not into those kind of things. Maybe they've got their head elsewhere. They're preoccupied with, you know, things that are going on in their life. That is one of the possibilities that I do pick up from these energies. For some of you, this person might just prefer being single or just prefer being on their own, uh, living on their own, doing their own thing. Those are the kind of energies I get from that. But of course, I'm going to clarify to get a further understanding of their energy. I feel like, you know, at this moment, what is going on? There's so many complex elements here. Uh, some of you are, you know, on the path of trying to repair, to heal to, um, you know, find yourself again amidst all that you've been through. You're looking for that part of yourself that needs to be healed. So I feel like there's an energy here which is calling upon you to do so and, um, you know, leading you on that path. But also there's there's other ways to interpret this energy, the combination of it. It feels like after the tornado, there's a calm, there's a, that energy of which you start building up again, picking up the pieces. It's those kind of energies that I pick up from the way that things stand right now between the two of you. Now, I also feel like there's there's so many energies here which are very interesting. There's, there's this element of which, you know, your person appears to be uh, motivated by their own objectives, preoccupied with their own life. But at the same time, there's an energy of wanting to do something, wanting to um, take some type of action, wanting to move forward in some shape or form. So there is that energy that's coming through from this individual, which is very, very powerful. I feel like it's indicating a very hands-on kind of approach. It could be motivated by certain things, motivated by certain factors. Uh, but 
the most interesting part is the way these cards correspond to one another at this point in time. What I do sense here is that there's an energy which, you know, is keeping your person from returning back to the situation. And it could have to do something with this particular card here. Yeah, I feel like this energy is indicating, you know, something that has this individual in in chains or maybe there's something that they have to figure out in their life in order to move forward to you but it feels like right now they're very much preoccupied with this element in their life that they are trying to solve or trying to um, uh, you know find a solution to I'm picking up those kind of energies here this could also be indicating certain behaviors they could be toxic in certain instances or they could be addictions they could be um, you know, the things that they're dealing with in their own life, it, it doesn't have to be um, so harsh like an actual addiction. It can be, uh, you know, battling certain things or trying to overcome certain challenges in their life. It could be minor, it could be big, it could be anything, but it doesn't have to be, you know, in a certain specific direction. It can literally be anything. So I feel like there's an energy here of you willing to do whatever you can to try to find a way to make things work between you and this individual concern. Let's get some clarity. Someone in this situation was incredibly stubborn when it comes to uh, communicating or getting messages to the other individual. It's like they know where to find me. It's that kind of energy. This was either you or this was this individual concerned, right? It feels like that kind of energy is coming through. Uh, I do pick that up. Or it could also be someone else's influence upon the situation, uh, which could indicate an element of adding a bit of havoc to your connection, right? Maybe someone told them not to talk to you anymore or they had some type of an influence in their life that was just, you know, pushing them in one type of a direction, um, not really giving them much leeway. There is that possibility that is coming through, you know, these, these energies can be read in many, many ways because there's going to be so many of you guys watching this reading. And so, you know, the stories will deviate slightly in, in some ways. So what I do see here as well is that, you know, this individual you're dealing with is, um, you know, definitely at a point in which they're trying to do something in this situation. It feels like they're trying to make something right. It's either in their own life or it's in your life. It's, you know, either going to influence your life or concerning their life entirely. I feel like there's an energy which is indicating that a, a lot of things have been, you know, sort of moved around in order to make sure that certain things get done in their own personal life. I pick up those kind of energies and there is this possibility of either this individual coming in or someone new coming into your life. But I feel like there's an energy which is indicating you're very fixated on trying to work things out with this person and, and you're not wanting to give up hope on this individual even though they might be preoccupied with other things. I feel like for some of you, and this person might be involved in another set of circumstances or there could be something concerning their family that's going on. If they're not actively involved with someone else. There might be some element of their family. Uh, there might be pressure there that for them to be a certain way, to conform in a certain way. Um, I feel like in terms of the two of you, you know, coming back together, there's a sense here of, um, you know, losing a lot of sleep over potential conversations, losing a lot of sleep over what would be said what could be said, etc. So very interesting energies and dynamics have come through here. I feel like uh, there's either a new path opening up for you, you know, with someone new, or it could be a path between you and this individual concern. But what most interests me is the fact that this individual uh, wants to take some type of an action, right? It could either be related to you or it might be unrelated to you. I do pick up those energies. There is that influence of some other person that either convinced this individual not to talk to you, not to engage with you. I, I do pick up those kind of dynamics. Yeah, it could be from their family or maybe their exes, things of that nature. 
So one way to explore in the extended is your person's mind, heart and soul energy. What type of action is this individual really thinking of taking in this situation? Is it related to you or unrelated to you? Uh, what is this energy of this new love that's coming in? Why is there so much grief and worry over a potential conversation between the two of you? And how can you potentially deal with this other outside influence that is perhaps getting in the way of your connection if that is indeed the case here? So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a beautiful day and take care.